You know, last time I didn't really do a follow up and give a word or really talk about, you know, where I am mentally with things, partially because I think that day I was feeling the way. Seasonal affective disorder, seasonal depression is a real thing. I can notice it in myself when I just take an inventory of how I'm feeling. Nothing will be wrong, but something's off. That alone is enough to go ahead and call it what it is. It's an imbalance of sorts, whether it's hormonal, sleep, whatever. I have been sacrificing my rest, my sleep, my restorative time for productivity. I know better and I'm gonna do better about it. I'm gonna work on taking my ass to bed during the week. I've learned nothing's gonna happen before the time is supposed to happen. I can work my ass off until I am blue in the face and bagged under the eyes. I ain't gonna change nothing. I gotta go ahead and submit that to the universe. I have been working hard and hard work does not go unnoticed regardless of another creative made it make sense to me because the labor of love sounds laborious and dreadful. But a love project sounds like a project that you work on and love yourself through it. Shout out to Keanu Vision because Keanu Vision has been one of my biggest supporters in terms of keeping my mental together. Shout out to Dr. Rose Chaperon. Shout out to Lulu. I have an amazing support system of women and men and individuals who just hold me together and hold me up. Shout out to Naps and Nurture. Shout out to Reviews from the Six. Shout out to Abraham Johnson. Shout out to Russell Anderson. Shout out to Keith from Fragrant Life. Shout out to Trey Sense. Shout out to Sam Broom. I could go on and on. That actually reminds me, I need to do my fragrance community tag. Ha! Another love project. You gotta get that done and get that out there because I wanna appreciate the individuals who have supported me giving me an encouraging word, advice, what to do, how to do. I just really need to put all of that into a documented work and give my fellow FRAGCOM and creative family their flowers because it wasn't until recently, in the last year or two, that I'll come across a lot of individuals who just support me through and through. Support me without even knowing me from Adam. Supported me and given unto me and my project and my channel and my vision without requiring anything in return. That is the true, true definition of love and support. To everybody that has watched my content, liked, shared, disliked it, not shared it, I am thankful for each and every individual who has come into contact with my content and either done something or done nothing. I am thankful for each and every one of you because you've conspired with the universe to set me in motion to do what I'm supposed to be doing. And I am thankful for that. I don't think there is any amount of words that I can string together to convey my sincerity and gratitude of thanks, but I won't stop trying. When I think about it, it makes me emotional sometimes because being a creative is a challenge. It's one of the most challenging things I've ever submitted myself to doing. Willfully. <laughs> it's such a challenge. It takes a lot of time, energy, talent, sometimes money to do this thing. But I will tell you this, if I was not doing this, I would not really feel like I am alive and living. I would just be existing. And that ain't no type of life I wanna live. I don't want to just exist. I want to live and live life abundantly. I want to have experiences. I want to have deep, meaningful relationships, friendships, and continue to grow those. I look forward to the ways we grow together as we go together. Been your man on Common Sense, aka D, aka DeAndre, <laughs> aka Mr. Blue. I got many names, aka 3D Designs. <laughs> I'm a multifaceted, multi-hyphenate type of brother. So catch me in the East, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram streets, or in the real streets. <laughs> if you call me by one of my monikers, I'm answering. <laughs> so this has been your man's Uncommon Sense. On this side, I'm out. I love you guys. And I will talk at you soon. I so much better.
Each time, each time I do this, I end up feeling better and purged somehow. I wasn't having a bad day per se today. I just wasn't feeling it. And that can be challenging as I work my side hustle to fund my calling, purpose, and passion. It's just gonna be a challenge. And I don't know how to articulate that. A lot of folks would just say, you know, just do what you gotta do. Of course, that kind of goes without saying. No shade, no disrespect. I don't think it's no honor in being a star artist. However, I do have the utmost respect for individuals who have a boundary set for themselves and say, I can't do this. I can't continue to build somebody else's dream without building mine. I'm kind of at that place. I'm at that place of being, having adverse reactions to somebody just expecting so much of my time when I could and should be doing projects for myself. I have a very violent reaction to people wanting to monopolize my time and energy for projects that are not for myself. But I understand and know that I have to take responsibility for willfully participating in that in the past because now my new behavior seems out of alignment because it's always been okay. So why is it a problem now? And I've been getting those types of reactions and looks when I say no to certain things that I used to say yes to, or when I'm not as available, or when I say I'm doing so-and-so project, etc. I see the, oh, those types of looks and responses. And in kind, I'm understanding I've changed. I have changed and the me that individuals used to know is no longer that person. So I've noticed some people take that as an offense. Like me changing for myself was to spite them. That in and of itself reeks of narcissism and toxic behavior, but I understand it. I've also learned the more I understand certain things, the less I take personal. I understand. And it's, it can be challenging to be su such an understanding individual while, while maintaining your boundaries. It's a challenge to be that person because you understand. And a lot of people just expect you to, oh, you understand. You understand. And a lot of people will take advantage of that thing. Get, get in your lane. Oh. Anywho, I'm thankful to be off. I gotta get something done to this wig of mine. We got a live tomorrow. Gotta get it together. Then be on camera with undone roots. Hmm. <sighs> I miss the golden time of the day. I don't think it was one today. It was kind of gloomy. They say it's 55 degrees right now, but I think it's probably about 47. It's cool. It's really cool today. Get somebody gonna get in front of you. You about to kill yourself. Lord. Keep me safe from that. That destruction. Well, we've made it safely. We've returned home. King has gotten us to and fro as we have ventured back to the flat. Remember, 
breathing life into everything we see and do, speaking life into every situation and thing there is. And speak life into my pocketbook. Reach down into it and say, fill yourself up with abundance. Put all that coin in there. So happy I could spit. And then there's that. 